Hello and welcome back here to Asada Corsa with the final week of practice before round one of HDC. It is time to get hunkered back into the mindset of this competition because the competition is on this Sunday. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. Let's get to it. So like I said, with the competition being this weekend, it's the final week for practice. The live server for the competitors is up. So we are in it, going to be running a little bit of practice here to try to get back into the flow with this Comp Z and make sure that we can still run this track without hitting everything. So we're just gonna heat up our tires just a smidge because tire wear and everything is on. And then we're gonna line it up. And we're gonna go for broke. We're gonna start in second gear because first gear in, in the ratio I'm set up kinda doesn't really do anything, so. Slip the clutch in second. Coming in as close as we can. Wanted to come to that a lot faster than I did. Kind of, uh, misjudged my transitional point with my handbrake just trying to stay as tight as we can as close as we can but keep as much speed as we can so that we can get the shortest distance around this track and not hit anything is the also goal managed to make it out of there alive without hitting everything into the box turns a little bit of a handbrake coming in we go so super excited for the competition coming up the end of this week this weekend so gonna be doing a lot of practicing trying to get everything finalized with my setup that I can change up for the competition just that went out really wide probably should have stayed in fourth instead of going into fifth thought I should but seems like it'd be a fourth gear section in the little alleyway section. Come on, this is where I'm gonna have to pop it into fifth. Pop it into fifth through here. Little brake transition. Shoot all the way down this alley. Hard on the brakes and the handbrake into fourth. Oh, a little bit tight on that pull, but managed to somewhat keep it. And we didn't come to a dead stop, so we'll take a couple couple penalties for cones on those and a little bit wide there a couple more pickups of penalties but not too terrible we haven't stuffed it into a wall yet so that's always a plus Clement and fifth to try and come across the line so for a first run back out here after not running this course for a very long time Let's go back to pits and see how we did 207. So that's actually not too terrible given the circumstances of not running this track for a little bit of long time. So quite happy with that 207 off the rip. I have a feeling we're not gonna have time to run another run because the server's gonna reset, although we could probably finish it before the server reset. So let's line ourselves up without warming the tires up, see what difference it makes. Right into fifth gear through the alley. There we go. Oh, little bobble there. A lot wider than I wanted to go there. Got to remember and get the flow and the angle back for this track before I can fully lay down massively incredible runs. Like I said, been working on those three cars and everything for a long time in the server recently, so I haven't had much time to get back behind the wheel of my Comp Z. So, doing a little bit less full throttle, a little bit more feather throttle through some sections. Still staying in angle, but managing to get a little bit more grip and not blow the tires off completely. Almost all it there, good thing we uh, 
managed to throw the clutch kick. This one we're going to keep it in fourth because we drifted way wide last time. Cut that short. Stay in angle. That's, that's much better than last run. We definitely would have still taken that out. So that would have been good. Come in the alleyway. Flick it out. Oh. Little bobble there. The left foot brake to keep it in tight there. And that is what I do not want to do day of competition and go too far in and wreck into that section because that could be the end of your run coming to a dead stop on that wall. Noticing the tires are getting a little bit slippery towards the ends of the run. So we need to manage that a little bit and know that we're going to be drifting out a little bit wide more towards the end of the run. Fifth gear. And across the line with probably not as good as our last one, uh, 207, I think. Oh, we did get a little bit quicker. So now we are in the cool down. So if you guys are enjoying this content, I'm super excited for the HTC competition coming up. It looks like I'm one of the first people to actually hop in the server and start testing. So everybody's cars are in. So the car is set. So any tuning I have to do is with the car set tuning parameters. Definitely very comfortable in the Z and looking forward to having a blast in the competition. So hopefully everything will go right. I'll be able to get in the competition and do some good good clean runs and maybe advance on and you know get some good points and things of that nature. So like I said, definitely going to be excited for this Sunday. The competition is on Sunday. Hopefully everything will go good and I'll be able to compete. So once this cool down timer goes, we're going to go run another run with a fresh new course that we didn't punt everything out of the way. So uh, catch you guys at the line. So we are going to, we're going to heat up our tires. And try and do a run without hitting anything. Goals for this run is to not hit anything and have a clean run. So I'm going to try to slow down a little bit through some sections and get a cleaner run rather than a fast run because a clean run could take the win if you have no penalties. So let's go. We did better starting in first gear, so we're going to start in first. All the way up in the fifth. Sucking that in really close to there, staying in angle, drifting out a little bit. Picked up two. So that's not terrible. That's a lot less than our last run where we picked up, I think, like 12. So we only picked up two so far. Oh, drifted a lot wetter than I wanted to going into there. There's three. So three is not entirely terrible. I'm not sure if it loaded my setup. The car feels very loose than compared to last run. So maybe it didn't load my setup fully. We will check that after this run. Rocking those Achilles one, two, three tires, 265s. Bring this in as low as we can. Stay in angle, pop that back end out with a little bit of handbrake. Bring ourselves back into this alleyway. Oh, and that's a major stuff and that's not something we want to do. We needed to be a little bit closer than that because that was a major fail. So let's try and give it one more go here for this episode and not stuff it into that wall. All right, definitely comfortable in the Z. Just got to get myself back comfortable in it based on all the cars I have been driving recently. So let's go full send. Fifth gear, kick it in. A little bit of handbrake entry on that. Suck that up nice and tight. Drift ourselves out wide. 
Probably should have went into fourth. Going to fourth for this part because fifth gear will probably bog down on this inner loop section. We don't want to come out of drift. It's a much better way in on that section. Oh, we picked up two there. Three, four, five, six. We gotta stop picking up these cones or tire barriers and stay in there and not lose every penalty point because we don't want to get the penalties. So maybe a little bit slower, more conservative run might be a better run than a fast blazing run with all the penalties. So something I'm gonna be practicing here in the next couple days to see which way is actually better. Alright, this one we gotta cut it in short so we don't cut into the wall like we did last run. There we go. Cut it out. Right here is a major spot where you can lose time because if you come to a dead stop almost like that, it's definitely a loss of points. much cleaner into that section of the course picking up some front tires Ooh, I almost lost it I'll take that tire penalty because unfortunately I almost totally lost it and if I tried to correct that I probably would have lost it all the way there as fast as we can and across the line lock it up before we smack into the wall so we're gonna go take a look at that time and i think that'll do it here for today's episode back to practicing here 209335 that little stumble on that hairpin did mess me up so we got to get our times down and get back comfortable in this car so make sure you follow me on all social media all of which you found in the description box below as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track